Hi guys, this is uh, Coach Bill with uh, Team Alka Viva forward slash Drink Nature's Water forward slash and BillMaburyCoaching.com. Guys, uh, today this video is going to cover some uh, alarming information about the toxicity that is in our uh, source of drinking water. Um, the EPA, the CDC, the World Health Organization, uh, multiple different news medias are also warning the public that they're discovering more new dangerous toxic chemicals in the source water that the American people are drinking. And most of you don't even know about it. Matter of fact, most of you are taking your water uh, for granted, thinking that the government or these organizations or the water dis district is making your water safe. And that's just not true because there's enough evidence now by these different organizations and these nonprofit organizations who've been researching the types of dangerous toxic chemicals in the water. And it's showing that the elevation of these toxic chemicals is at a, an alarming rate, especially here in California. And so what I've done, I've put together a little, um, kind of a little protocol or a little uh, flyer that's going to explain what I'm talking about. And I'm not doing this to, now there's actually ionizers or electrolysis devices out there that'll take your source water uh, or take your kitchen sink, uh, or the water from your kitchen sink and actually convert it into one of the most healthiest waters on the planet. But what this video is going to cover that not all ionizers are created equal and not all of them are actually taken out the most dangerous drinking waters on this planet. And so I want to do this video just to give you the truth and explain to you um, why I actually uh, had left a uh, ionizer company that I was with for over 13 years. And because I, the reason, one of the biggest reasons why I left is because of the filtration system in that um, ionizer. So I just want to explain it to you guys a little bit. So here we go. Let's go to this. Let's go to the flyer and I, let's share it. Okay, guys, so the top picture here is just, just is the example of the company that I was with for over 13 years. And the reason why, I mean, I was, I've always been concerned about the toxic chemicals that are in, in our water. And I understand the science behind hydrogen-rich water and these ionizers that are actually producing uh, hydrogen-rich water. Now, Hundreds and thousands of people, maybe even up to a million people now all over the world are now purchasing these in-home ionizers that actually take your water from your kitchen sink and converts it into the most healthiest water on the planet. The problem is, is that a lot of these people that are selling these devices aren't really telling the whole story. And it's not their fault because their uplines or the people they bought the devices through is not teaching them the actual science behind the um, how powerful hydrogen rich water is and how not all devices are actually producing um, the amount of hydrogen H2 in order to be able to call it therapeutic water. See, you have to have at least 0.5 ppm or higher of hydrogen H2 in the hydrogen rich water in order for you to call it therapeutic water and it helps with many disease models. But the device I'm pointing out today is this one here. This is the company I was with for over 13 years. I tested three of my clients SD501 who actually use the salt solution to go through this that goes through the device that actually produces a high 11.5 alkalinity and a very strong 2.5 acidic water, which is known as hypochlorous acid, which is also used to help by the, by the wound care centers to help with wound cares. But I tested three of my uh, cl past client machines and all three did not show any detection of uh, therapeutic hydrogen H2 in it. And so I thought it was interesting that these three machines actually went, had ran this salt solution through it. So then I, I went ahead and tested another client's or a company that I sold a machine to under the counter, SD501, and they never ran a solution through it. That device tested a large amount of concentration 
of H2. Then I got some science that explained why, and I'll go over that in a minute. And so that was very uh, interesting. But the main topic today is basically the filtration system in it. And so this filter that you see in the uh, most are uh, the most popular ionizer on the market today. This filter only will clean out one chemical, and that is chlorine. That's it. That's all it cleans. Now I was told when I first started, it cleaned out uh, multiple uh, uh, different types of toxic chemicals and. Obviously, that's not true. It does not. It only t cleans out one. Well, then what they've done is they come back and said, okay, you need to go to a certain company and get the three-stage filter system. The problem is those three stages, pre-filters that they added to these uh, ionizers, still does not get the uh, most dangerous toxic chemicals out of the water. And besides, there's no actual certified uh, third-party lab tests showing the chemicals that do come out that these filters are supposed to be taking out. And so these devices, guys, there's, there's three actual properties of hydrogen-rich water you have to have. These devices are producing a very high alkalinity, and that's what you're looking for, 8.0 and above. They're also producing water that has a negative ORP which means it's got a negative oxidation reduction potential. So it's got a potential to reduce the oxidation in your body and uh, with that negative ORP. Well, all the water, the toxic water has a, a positive ORP, your bottled waters, your city waters, your city filter waters, all those waters have a uh, positive ORP, which means it's actually oxidizing the cells at the cellular level, causing cellular damage. And so if the water you're drinking does not have a negative ORP, does not have high alkalinity, it's basically causing your body to be very acidic and it's oxidizing the cells at the cellular level. And if you know anything about the physiology of the cell, how oxidation is actually going to create some kind of medical issue over time. But you have to have three properties to have therapeutic um, therapeutic water that helps with many disease models. You have to have number one, the alkalinity, it must be an 8.0 or above. You must have the negative ORP. And then of course, you've got to have a, a good concentration of actual um, hydrogen H2, 0.5 ppms. Most of the machines out there so far that I've checked do not have that amount of hydrogen H2. You cannot call it therapeutic water. But the topic here is about the filtration system. So the device I am going to, I am now pro promoted, actually has the uh, new technology, the new filter technology that actually is, has been tested by a certified third-party lab showing it takes out 99.9 .9 of the most dangerous toxic chemicals that are in our source water. And the device that I'm promoting, which is Alcaviva, actually has the report in their website showing the most dangerous toxic chemicals that are take, taken out. That's the issue. That's what's important. You guys have to understand, you are drinking water that has massive amounts of toxic chemicals that are known by these other organizations, the EPA, CDC, the news media, the World Health Organization, that are known to cause certain cancers. And so let me go through a little bit of science with, with you guys. And so, like I said, there was a study uh, that was done in 2021 that showed 56 new chemicals added to the 268 toxic chemicals found in America's water utilities. And since 2019, more than 320 toxic substances have been detected in U.S. drinking water systems, according to the new analyst by the Environmental Working Group, a nonprofit environmental organization. Now, the harmful chemicals are linked to cancer, adverse birth reproduction outcomes, impaired brain development, and revolving door of other uh, deteriorate health impacts. 
Guys, that's how, <laughs> that just shows you how dangerous this stuff is. The EWG researchers collected and reviewed results from water contaminant tests conducted by water utilities and regulators from all 50 states and the District of Columbia after according through the data from almost 50,000 water systems serving tens of millions of American households, the researchers found a sweeping drinking water contamination from numerous pollutants such as arsenic, lead, and some of the most dangerous toxic chemicals on the market, retro, uh, radioactive materials and pesticides, high levels of estrogen, that's probably causing the, main bo the man boobs in most of our young boys uh, now, and that these, then besides that, as you can see in this article, the researcher himself, the environmental health scientist at the EWG who helped construct the tap water database, we are not being exposed to just one contaminant. We are drinking water. We're being exposed to multiple contaminants. That was his uh, explanation. Now, this is another very, very concerning, alarming information about a recent discovery in 2023. This was actually published in 2023 of a very, very dangerous toxic chemical known as PFAS. This chemical was found in the California source of drinking water. The EPA Environmental Protection Agency is now looking deeper into PFAA due to the toxicity of the chemical in the drinking water. These chemicals, they now know, cause many disease models such as cancer. And they also mentioned that it's going to take billions of dollars to remove it. Guys, do you think that's going to happen in the near future? Absolutely not. Now, let's go back to ionizers and why I say not all ionizers are the same. And so what happened is that ionizer that I was with for 13 years runs a salt solution through the ionizer. Well, I just got this recent uh, scientific case study that was published in a scientific journal explaining why they're recommending uh, you not to run the salt uh, solution through your machine. And also this is on, on top of they don't have a good uh, filter technology as well. So the new study, the new 2022 scientific case study was published in the International Journal of Medical Science showing the power of molecular hydrogen H2. Well, this study just showed that when your uh, device is producing multiple uh, amounts of hydrogen H2, 0.5 ppm or higher, is the... Uh, antioxidant that this machine produces because of that H2 is a powerful way to help with many disease models. But the study showed if you take the hydrogen H2 out of the alkaline water, you have eliminated the therapeutic healing of the water. This is not me, guys. This is the study. Like I said, if your machine is not producing 0.5 ppm or more of H2, you cannot call it therapeutic water. These people that are doing these demos must test the water that they're demoing. And if they're not producing the 0.5 ppm, they cannot call it therapeutic water. And they need to explain to the audience why they cannot call it therapeutic water. Now, does this water still have benefits to it? Absolutely because of the negative ORP, it is still going to be able to hydrate you much more efficiently at the cellular level when it has that negative ORP, even though it does not have enough H2 to call it therapeutic. In the case study shows alkalinity nor the negative ORP is not what makes hydrogen H2 therapeutic to the body. The research also explains why ORP meters and H2 meters are not accurate when testing for hydrogen H2. They recommend using blue H2 drop to get the accurate reading. A 2022 scientific case study, another one in the International Journal of Medical Science, also showed by using an ionizer that 
produces high pH levels of 11.5 and 2.5 using a solution may cause damage to the metal plates leaching metal particles into the water. And so that was a test known as Electrolyzed Reduced Water Review 2 Safety Concerns and Effectiveness of the Source Water itself. They recommend additionally safety research on ERW, which is Electrolyzed Reduced Water, is warranted. ERW users should, should follow recommendation to not ingest ERW uh, water. The reasoning for that is, is they're concerned about the plates because of the high solution, the high power, the plates are deteriorating, causing or leaching metal particles into the water. I am suggesting to all my past, past clients who actually uh, purchased one of those, uh, one of the Enagic machines that actually puts the solution through to stop running solution through their devices until more scientific research can can eliminate the issue of the plates leaching metal particles. I took a couple of my machines apart, a couple of my Enagic machines apart, and they also, they showed uh, damage, burnt marks on most of the plates, which is concerning to me, and that's another reason I can't have my clients. Uh, drinking water out of a machine that could be causing leaching medical particles due to damage. So guys, again, the main topic here, you must take the toxic chemicals out of the uh, water before it goes through this electro uh, electrolysis device. And then for you to drink, you must take all the chemicals out of there. And there's a reason for that. Because if your chemicals are left in the water, as it goes through the electrolysis device, they've shown that it is more bioavailable to cause issues at the cellular level because of the water having that negative ORP. It's actually more. It's actually will be um, flood or actually will go through the cell more efficiently, carrying those toxic chemicals chemicals to the cell, and that's an issue which I don't want my clients to go through. So that's why I chose to go to Alcaviva that has the new technology, new filter technology that will actually take out 99.9% .9 of all the dangerous toxic chemicals in your source water. Hey, games, hey guys, I'm back. So guys, you really need to understand how important it is to have a ionizer that has been uh, tested by a certified third-party lab showing it takes out the most dangerous toxic chemicals in your source water. The reports are out there, guys. Science is coming up with more and more information on how toxic chemicals, new toxic chemicals, are actually showing up in our source waters. Not just in our source water, but in lakes and rivers as well. And the news media has been saying this for a couple of years, but for some reason, the public is taking their water for granted, thinking that they're drinking water that's not going to cause some kind of medical issue like, like cancer. And the reports I just showed you, these are actual scientific case studies. This is not me. This is them. And they're publishing them so that the uh, doctors and researchers and scientists and health professionals and personal trainers and health gurus and health coaches can look at them, go back to their clients and explain to their clients that you must stop drinking source water that has major amounts of uh, toxic chemicals in them, especially those of you in California that, have, that are now... Uh, we now know that they found in 2023 a very dangerous toxic chemical because this, the chemical itself is structured so small that it actually can be uh, efficiently, it can go into the cell and be stored up and cause damage to the, the mitochondria of that cell. So guys, you can go to my team, alcaviva.com forward slash drink nature's water forward slash website go to get started click on it review the short videos 
when you get to the section, you can actually put your own zip code in there and you can see what toxic chemicals are actually lurking in your source water. You can also go to BillBaberyCoaching.com. That's my other website. You can, you can click on a free consultation, no charge and no hype and no hard selling or anything. And I, we can go over the, uh, if you have any questions about what I'm talking about. Hope you 